Hi everyone, this is Cheyenne reporting for Cal TV News. I'm here on Sprawl to get students' opinions on the Brett Kavanaugh hearing and confirmation. I definitely wasn't expecting those results. Um, I already didn't have a lot of confidence in the American government, but I feel like my confidence kind of decreased after seeing those results. With the midterm elections fast approaching, many people will be voting to elect a government they can trust. For some, the recent confirmation of Justice Brett Kavanaugh to the Supreme Court despite sexual assault allegations made against him, has added a sense of urgency to voting this midterm season. I was really disappointing because I, uh, I thought that the person making the allegations came across as very credible. They showed this in the presidential election with Trump, you know, who has been credibly accused of like many counts of sexual harassment and assault. And they showed no opposition to Trump on that. And I didn't expect them really to show any opposition to Kavanaugh. For one voter, the issues surrounding Kavanaugh are personal. For her, trust in government is vital. Me being a, um, a girl that was actually like involved with a sexual assault, um, it's really, it's, it puts me in a really difficult position to see whether I can trust my government. The controversy surrounding Justice Kavanaugh's confirmation has led many to predict that a blue wave will take the nation come November 6th. I think people are pretty disappointed with the Republican Party and how they handled the situation. And I wouldn't be surprised if the house turns. We can kind of see how the government feels about women in society, and we don't really feel that confident in government, as he said, and we don't have that faith for them to look out for us. So I definitely feel it's going to affect the midterms. For voters on both sides of the aisle, the midterms are a chance to elect a government they can trust. I really hope and do believe that more people will go out to vote. Cheyenne Lewis reporting for Cal TV News.